Hello everybody, and uh, for those of you for, who are new to Carleton, uh, welcome to campus. Uh, for those of you who are returning, we're thrilled to have you back. I'm standing outside the Hertzberg building that is the main uh, focus for the Department of Earth Sciences here at Carleton. And what I'd like to do today is just introduce you to some of the protocols that we're putting in place for those of you who may be attending laboratories or workshops that are being held this fall here in the Department of Earth Sciences. So this is the main entrance to the Hertzberg building right here. You can see right now there's no entry signs on the doors, but that will be changing as of early September and this will become a main entrance into the building. It's quite likely that there will be a QR code or somebody standing here who may be asking you some questions. And once you've done that, then you'll be allowed to enter the building. And so welcome to the Hertzberg building at Carleton University. So when you first walk into the uh, main entrance here of the Hertzberg building, the first thing you'll encounter is one of these new clean stations. It's a hands-free hand sanitizing station. Um, if you are just coming in uh, for something um, that doesn't mean going to a laboratory, um, then you might want to use this station. Um, but for those of you who are going to be coming here for labs and workshops, we've set up um, a, a series of hand washing stations uh, and I'm about to introduce you to those right now. So if you're using a clean station, you can do that here. If you're attending one of our labs or workshops, you'll want to proceed to your left and enter the main hallway of the Department of Earth Sciences. So here we are in the main hallway entrance to the Department of Earth Sciences. And the first thing that you'll see is on the ground. We will have markers set up at a two meter distance so that everybody can keep socially distanced. We have three laboratories that you might be using in the department. The first one is HP 2110, strictly down the hallway here, or you may be using HP 2120 or 2130, which are down the hallway to the left um, as we proceed down this way. First, we are going to show you the protocols for uh, rooms 2120 and 2130, and then we'll come back and show you the protocols for room 2110 at the end of the hall. So here we are in the um, entry area towards labs 2120 and 2130. Again, you'll notice that we have markers set two meters apart, so you'll want to keep spaced from the student that's in front of you. Essentially, you'll make your way down one student at a time, following the green lines, until you reach this line right here. Normally, we will have the same lab operating in both rooms 2130, which is located here on your right. And you will, the same lab will be running in room 2120, which is located here on your left. So when you reach this green line here, which will be specially marked um, when term starts, you have a choice. You can either go right or go left. Let's go into room 2120 and show you an example of how it will be set up. Room 2130 will be identical. So you will follow here until you get to the main entrance to the room. The room has a QR code right here that you'll scan with your cell phone. And that will be a record of you being in this room and that will be used for COVID tracing if necessary. Again, everybody has to stay two meters apart and we will have signs placed here that will keep you at that distance. And so you will proceed, walk into the room, one stage at a time. And then once we're here, we will again have tape markers to keep everybody spaced two meters apart. And You'll simply follow the line 
down to this point right here. So once there's nobody standing at the hand washing station, you can move from the last green marker up to here. Um, this is one of our new automated hand washing units. It's not installed yet. You'll simply get your soap, water, and then use the paper towels in this bin. Dry your hands off. Paper towels go in here. At this point, you're all ready to find a seat within the room. And so we'll have a series of green arrows on the floor here, and you'll simply follow those green arrows. And then you'll have a choice. But the idea is to follow the green arrows and then move all the way down the aisle and find a chair in front of a microscope. So all of the lab benches will be set up the way this one is. Um, the tables are marked off into two meter long uh, study areas. Each one, as I mentioned, has a microscope. The idea is that while you're here, you must stay within that two meter spacing and therefore stay away from the students who are beside you. Uh, TAs and instructors will bring the materials around um, to the various stations so you don't have to get up. So the idea is that you will stay where you are during the lab period, unless, of course, you have to use the washroom. Then, of course, at the end of the lab, uh, you will have completed your work. Um, you'll, uh, there will be cleaning materials here, spray and paper towels for you to wipe down your work area. Um, you will be not actually using a microscope directly, but instead we have microscope cameras that fit into the oculars. Um, and then you'll just need to clean the microscope camera and put it away for the next person. So here's an example of one of our new microscope camera systems. As you can see here, we have our optical microscope. Um, this is the camera. It fits in one of the barrels, one of the ocular barrels here on the microscope. So this way, you don't actually put your eyes up to the microscope at all. Um, you'll have to use your hands to adjust the focus knob and, of course, put slides on and off of the stage. But otherwise, that's all you have to touch. And the USB cable from the microscope here plugs directly into a laptop. And so therefore, once you have the software installed on the laptop, you can take photographs of any type um, and record those permanently on your laptop. Then when there is nobody in your way, be sure to keep a two meter spacing. You'll simply get up, take all of your own gear with you and exit out of the room. So here we are back in the main hallway entrance to the Department of Earth Sciences. Of course, the first thing you'll see is this beautiful mineral display um, from the George Chow Mineral Collection. George Chow was mineralogist in our department for many, many years. So the last thing I'd like to show you are the protocols if we happen to be using H uh, Hertzberg 2110. It normally won't be used, but in case it is, slightly different protocol because there's no sync in HP 2110. So again, here we have a uh, lineup, space two meters apart, and you'll do exactly as you were uh, going to be doing uh, if you were going into the other labs, only you will be using the department servery as the hand washing station if you are having a lab in HP 2110. So, person stands here, only one person is allowed in the servery at one time. So when the person exits after having washed their hands, you can actually come on in. Again, we have sink. We'll have another automatic dispenser uh, with soap in it here. Wash your hands, paper towels to dry your hands off. Paper towels go in the waste paper basket right here. And then you will exit the servery and walk across the hallway to the lab, HP2110, which if it is being used for a lab, the door will be propped open. And you will again follow the signs, walk in, and you will bear right and then find a lab space, uh, a sitting space within the lab.
Well, thank you very much, everyone, for uh, watching um, this protocol video uh, for a return to classes here in the Department of Earth Sciences at Carleton University. It's extremely important that everybody follows these regulations. That way, everybody will stay healthy and stay safe and this will allow us to continue to offer, offer laboratories and workshops here in the department. Welcome again to the Department of Earth Sciences, Carleton University for the fall of 2021.